When Nathan Hardy was 12 years old, he was diagnosed with a sinus infection. However, further tests show that Nathan had a form of cancer called Ewing sarcoma. Mine was so rare because of where it was. Usually you find them in your leg or your rib or your arm. Mine was located in my head. The doctors had little information to go on. There are less than 10 recorded cases in the world of Ewing sarcomas in the head. And to make matters worse, Nathan's cancer was stage 4. So right from the start when they told me that, I was kind of worried. Because they said not that many people survive. We were, obviously, we were, as parents, we were concerned, right, for our son. And we were also informed at that time that it was stage 4. Um, so the fight was on. While Nathan was in treatment, he was granted a wish from the Make-A-Wish Foundation. He wished for his very own skate park in his own backyard. I wanted since I was like five years old. He would wake up in the morning and be really excited to go see how much they had got accomplished the day before. And he would help them with the design and even with some of the building. So it was really cool. Three months later, Nathan's wish was complete. He had a lot of um, friends come by and skate with him, and he's really had a lot of enjoyment um, with it. We've added on to it a little bit and repainted it, and it's just, it gets used every day. After Nathan's wish was granted, he wanted to give back to Make-A-Wish and other kids. So by having us promote this wish of him having a backyard skate park, he's able to give back to Make-A-Wish that way, and awareness as well. Now 14, Nathan's been nominated as a UFA small town hero. The win receives $10,000 and a Paul Brandt concert. Nathan wants that prize to go to make a wish. So we said instead of giving the money to us, we said to make a wish. He's uh, fighting cancer, he's kicked cancer, and uh, we're very proud of him. Being a hero to small kids, everybody in town knows him. Every little kid knows his name. Nathan went through eight surgeries, two years of chemotherapy, and a month of radiation. Right now his cancer is in remission, and we are just uh, following up with CT scans, MRIs, that sort of thing. He's been um, off treatment for about four months now. Susan said to have Nathan home and healthy is huge. It was kind of hard and we didn't know if he would make it. And so it's huge, sorry. Tammy Karachik, Shaw TV, Edmonton.